We are so excited that you can hang with us, flower children. We, <laughs> we're really excited to share with you one of the very first announcements about the Flower Fest here in Baton Rouge coming to Point Marie and it is benefiting St. Jude's Children Hospital in Louisiana. And so we are so excited and thrilled to have one of our dear friends, Katie Perino Guitro. She's with the LSU Ag Center Botanic Gardens and Amy Dighton. She is the founder of Clover Creative Agency. Um, and these two ladies have so many different ways that they influence our community. They make a lot of beautiful things happen and they pull together some very influential women and businesses and just great network ability so thank you for making time to come yes, talk with us yeah. because I love what I'm wearing <laughs> All right. and I really do thank you for bringing this from forage and so tell us in like a week and a half how you pulled together an incredible <laughs> event like no other that has ever happened in Baton Rouge tell us what it is that inspired you to create the flower fest yes well I'm gonna start by saying that she is one of my absolute longest friends. I want to say the longest friend that I've had. So <laughs> the fact that I'm even a part of this with her is just super exciting. Um, I, love you. I know, it's good. <laughs> it's good. Women supporting women. Yeah. That's right. Well, it was just easy. I was one of those pick up the phone, call Katie. She is in that world. She lives it and breathes it. So I was like, hey, is this a good idea or am I insane? And so I had the idea, honestly, because during lockdown, you know, when you ran through all of your Netflix and then they start suggesting anything, I was like, all right, I'm out of everything. What should I watch? And there was a show called The Big Flower Fight. I've and seen it. Was, it. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah. It so I watched that and was like, who knew you could build a dinosaur with flowers? <laughs> this is so cool. Huge yes. It was just, it yeah. was just incredible to watch the skill and the creativity. Mm -hmm. And so I'm a creative junkie. Like I love watching other people with it. It's art, music, what even what Katie does like just seeing all the creative juices flow is just like my high so when I called Katie I said could we put on something like this because uh, Point Marie is my client and if I say can we use your square they'll be like sounds good so that's what we did yeah and within honestly a few days and with her she is a go-getter and um, I love events so I was like you count me in I so we had talked at eight o'clock that morning and then we it just kind of snowballed from there and we have some great creative minds across Louisiana that are joining us to be a part of this one of which is uh, Meredith from Forage Floral here yes. in Baton Rouge who is a rock star florist but we also are gonna have at this event um, 11 teams yeah. of, of florists from the, across the state and how cool is that these these florists have really had a troublesome year yeah. because they've had a lot of events that have been canceled right. on them they haven't been able to um, have other people admire their craft that they have loved and these businesses that they've built and so this is gonna be such a cool thing it's never been done before we had a very similar but not really at all event at the Botanic Gardens many yeah. years ago um, that was a uh, creating fl floral gowns right um, but this is beyond well this let's talk about sculptural what are people gonna see yeah talk about so so it's like how it's gonna be laid out yeah so it's a weekend and, yeah. and every year we will have a theme so this year's theme is Louisiana promenade because unless you've been in a cave somewhere you haven't watched Bridgerton so right? all the women that watched Bridgerton <laughs> which is like the ideal client yeah. for a floral <laughs> festival we were like, let's give them the modern Bridgerton. So it's a Louisiana promenade. So the things that you can expect to see are really cool, like crawfish or um, different architectural elements that just scream Louisiana, built all out of flowers. And um, that's the day one, the traditional festival. We'll have food trucks and, and you'll get your April flower 3rd. crowns. Yes. April 3rd. Yeah, so what's going to happen is it'll be hopefully in five years when you think Easter, you think the Flower Fest, you know, and it may turn out to be a week long event eventually. We may have hundreds of floors coming from all over the nation. And I mentioned Netflix because Sarah Campbell from that show is coming to be an yes. expert judge. Isn't that, Isn't that incredible? Yeah. That yeah. is crazy. This could be great for promoting yeah. Baton Rouge and yes. all the creatives yes. that yes. are here. I mean, it's not just Baton Rouge. It's all across Louisiana. We have Diane yes. from Fat Cat Flowers, who is a part of our team of people putting this on. It's absolutely amazing. We have New Orleans represented. We have Baton Rouge. We have Lafayette. We have so and we have, I think it's Covington or Mandeville. Yeah, that's Madisonville. Gonna, Madisonville mm -hmm. that's coming. Mm -hmm. I mean, these people are going to be, it's a, it's a Louisiana 
clash that they're going to be fighting for. Yeah, you know, this is gonna the, be so the best sculptural floral. Yeah. Yes, it's really cool, and we've got some amazing businesses that are going to be a part. A lot of local businesses that are going to be joining us um, and be represented. So we're it's been pulled from this, that, and the other, and. We are so excited, and what's the best part about all of this is not only is it going to be Easter weekend, but this is benefiting the most beautiful foundation, honestly, in my personal opinion, and that's going to be St. Jude. Um, You told me a a statistic I didn't realize the other day, which was that Louisiana has more children than any other state that are in St. Jude. Yeah, and that just killed me. I didn't even, I did not know that. Um, We didn't know that whenever we, whenever this was, um, whenever we decided that this needs to be a benefit towards them and um, people are excited to do that and and give to them Mm -hmm. and so are we I can't wait I can't wait to see what comes of this now they can donate if they can't come if they have other things going on but you have Friday Saturday Sunday and you've done this in a way where it's affordable yeah, you have different. Yeah, so we have and different. Of course, we weren't in phase levels. three. Okay. We weren't in phase three when you started this, yes. but now we are. So yes. you can oh, increase goodness. the number of tickets. Yes, thank and you. And I think you're going to have great demand. So on Friday, for so what Friday time, isn't. What time? We aren't doing anything. So Thursday and Friday is actually when they're creating these yes. installations. Okay, so they're going to create so it before everybody comes. Yeah, they're creating okay. it and they're putting the final touches Saturday morning. So your floral enthusiasts or people that watch the Netflix show and want to meet Sarah, they want to see the behind the scenes. That's your VIP access Saturday morning. It's from nine to noon at noon we're banging you know a gong or a buzzer i just might yell at everyone i don't know but they're gonna stop <laughs> you okay. might throw flowers right the air, rose petals, right. Yes. right so they're gonna stop and that's when we open the doors for the festival to begin and what's cool about it is you get to vote so there's a fan favorite so when you're walking through and seeing these really cool sculptures you also get to pick out your favorite while you're probably taking a selfie in front of it of course. we're encouraging um, selfies yes of course of selfie approved yes, yes. And then when we were planning all these things, I realized that these structures were going to be there until Monday. So I was like, well, what can we do at night? And what can we do Sunday? So everyone has that pretty dress in their closet that's got dust on it from last year, right? Yes. Or they just need a reason to wear heels or feel fancy or just get out of their house. Um, So that's going to be the gala. Mm-hmm. So that definitely think sales. Bridgerton. We're going to have the Photo Sisters playing like Mar- Maroon 5, Ariana Grande, mm-hmm. like those fun modern tunes Get on ready. those strings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've got um, BRQ with some amazing food. Iverstein Farms donated all of the meat. Like, Iverstein when Farms I, donated all when of I the meat. When I tell you that this is this is literally people pulling. Louisiana Wholesale Floors, Clegg's yes. Nurse. We have people from all over yes. the state that are, that are helping with this event. And yeah. it is... It's going to be absolutely amazing. And yes, the gala is going to be fantastic. If you have a beautiful dress, everyone does. But if you just, or if you just want to buy one. Yeah, maybe, Chatterbox. Maybe, them up. maybe yeah. go to Chatterbox and yeah, get I mean, yourself bridal. a beautiful. I mean, there's a lot of oh places that have a lot of inventory yeah. that has yes. not moved in a year. Yes. Well, and, and Chatterbox is doing 10% off if you show your ticket. Ooh, ooh. Oh, there you Which go. Which is pretty big. Mm-hmm. That's yes. pretty big. Yes. Yeah. So, and that's going to be a beautiful evening. And it's the day, the day before Easter Sunday. And then Easter Sunday, if, you, if you're with your kids and maybe y'all didn't want to do a an Easter egg hunt or something like that, and you want something interesting to do that's a little different. Yeah, because um, we're going to leave them up, out. right? Yeah. So Sunday is no food trucks, no festival parts. It's just all the beautiful pieces are out just there. Walk so around yes. and see all yeah. you get done with Maybe church after church, or, yeah, come, just yeah, head yeah. over and just walk and create see. your own promenade. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you mentioned something about having influencers, models, and photographers yeah. come on Sunday for people that just want to have incredible backgrounds right. to create yes. something special. So style cool. shoots, yeah. like here's a style shoot for you. I'm bringing yeah. my dog. Oh my gosh, I, I love mean, it. Okay, I mean, what's your I dog's know, name? Uh, Ori, He's short so for cute. Oreo. Oreo. He did give a tour of uh, uh, Pointe Marie the oh. other other day of their How ground. Since, w- since y'all are doing so much out there yeah. at Pointe Marie. Yes, so the they Flower are. Fest, but then I got the Third Street Songwriters Festival, which a lot of people weren't sure, where is Pointe Marie? And it's on River Road. It's yes. just a fantastic outdoor space and Beautiful uh, I, get, I had him give a tour of it I yeah. love it so yep. uh, you know I'm going to take his <laughs> Ori, picture Ori, from all Ori the beautiful wants to move flowers in sculptures yeah you know? and, or maybe Ori wants to buy a ticket for the St. Jude Dream Home right he can the win Saint Jude another Dream way there. another way That's to support right. that would St. be Jude. a really great dog yeah. house for him yeah. wouldn't it I could probably move in with him yeah <laughs> right. yes. yeah there's there's no I'm square footage requirement so you yeah. could build a, a dog I'm house on a now you can have 250 people they, you you yes. should wear a mask, a floral mask. Yes. You should be socially distanced, but you went from 150 to now 250. 250. But because you have such a big space, you could have people at 12 coming in. There's another yeah, that's how we did the tickets. people at yeah. 2 p.m. that can come in. So you've done this in a way that flows, yes. but you could potentially have 
five hundred people. Oh, yes. easy. On, it's acres, acres. Yeah. yeah. And then, and these are fifteen dollars to come in, mm-hmm. twenty five dollars, oh, depending reasonable. on what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Extremely um, affordable for anyone and yeah. great photo ops yes. and to support St. Jude like so many other businesses mm-hmm. and people are doing like we need to support St. Jude. I know Jude. and this what a great way on Easter yeah. oh, on Easter all like for again. us to all come back when literally like this time last year we were all sitting in our homes going like what yeah. is going on and yeah. I know yes. I was for one that like looking at the future and being in a creative agency I was like I always thought I'd have work because I market other people's businesses who knew they would not be around yes, so having right. this come full circle and have this like breath of fresh air and light yeah. and beauty i'm just i still can't believe it's happening i'm waiting yeah. for someone to like wake me up but. that was the first major holiday after mardi gras that yeah. was canceled mm-hmm. i mean it was yeah. basically can't people yeah. couldn't go to church people couldn't get out and now this is the perfect way to say welcome it back is. right welcome yeah. back and not mm-hmm. fully not fully, but yeah. in a way that is is should be celebrated, honestly. Well, and it's outdoors. Outdoors, so, yes. it's you so know. easy. Yes, yes. and so, come with your families. Great. And this, so the gala, you know, you may or may not want to bring your kids to that. I probably will not be bringing mine, <laughs> right. but but I want them to see this. So I'm going to bring them at another time. This is not just for adults. This is a beautiful time for your kids and your whole family to enjoy time together over Easter weekend. So don't exclude them. And so, so the you can place- sponsor though. You can be a sponsor. You can buy. Yes. table yes please help sponsor us and yes. we're almost out of time so <laughs> let's tell folks if you're going i want to be there i want to do that the best place to go to get your tickets now yeah go to theflowerfest.com yes that's right the go on instagram Fest. at theflowerfest la that's yeah it. let's really support this let's have a huge huge showing let's really blow this out for St. Jude, and no better time. And thank you so much, Katie oh, Guitro and here. Amy Dighton. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much it. for all the love. And we're going to bloom where we're planted, right there right. at the Flower Fest. <laughs> and coming up next, thinking of my sage, some Sage Money Radio. What do you do with your money these days? That's right. We'll be right back. <laughs>